posted to Dogpool's official Instagram account seems to have enormous X-Men implications, or rather places Deadpool and Wolverine squarely in the X-Mansion. And while it's not exactly clear whether or not this is an official still shot, it's still an official promo. We're going to break that down as well as what Ryan Reynolds posted in a selfie yesterday, doubling down on the anti-Avengers, or should we call them the Anarchy Avengers logo, also revealed on his social media account. We're going to break down all the new stills and promo shots released officially by Marvel after yesterday's trailer, but first, if you could grab the subscribe button. We do daily Marvel content at the channel, and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, and reviews, to the occasional industry insider report and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the sub button, leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway. The next one is right around the corner for Deadpool and Wolverine's release next month. Again, all you gotta do be a sub, leave a comment if you want, stick around to the end of the video. We get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Okay, so in case you haven't been following the minutia of how Marvel Studios and Disney have handled the marketing for Deadpool, it's been going for years now, where this sort of this indelible line between where Ryan Reynolds, the actor in person, ends and Deadpool starts, where you'd expect to see Ryan Reynolds, say for a Welcome to Wrexham Emmy acceptance speech, Deadpool can just show up, just like the Free Guy trailer. And to make this even further confusing, that blurred line actually leaks into the MCU, where we saw Deadpool giving that Wrexham acceptance speech in character, not as Ryan Reynolds, but then showed up inside the TVA monitor for one of the quick scenes in the trailer. So they've really allowed Ryan Reynolds again in real life, the character of Deadpool whenever he sees fit, and then actually tie that in to what the character in canon in the MCU is aware of and doing. It's pretty crazy, but it allows Ryan Reynolds to use his social media to the max. Now, that being said, there were a ton of new still shots and photos yesterday on said social media. Let's break them down. The first couple just show Peter what looks like either in the bathroom or the locker room behind the scenes where Deadpool is now working as a used car salesman. And this all is really big first act stuff. In fact, they've already shown the first 12 minutes of the film. These still shots are from those first 12 minutes that were revealed at a recent Comic-Con, and we know that this is all taking place during the first act because that's the same shirt he's wearing when the TVA shows up at his door to abduct him and from the party. Here's another shot of Peter. You can clearly see there it says, please wash your hands. It's like an employee sign because right above that is the outline of a car. They're at the place that Wade is working as a used car salesman, and should I point out, they've made sure to mention he's not very good at that job. Okay, so the next shot up is the Dogpool photo, which was posted yesterday officially to Dogpool's Instagram account. Yes, there is one with the caption, the next person to call me a capybara with a skin condition can meet me in the danger room. Now, at first, I thought this was an official still shot because it looked HD. And if you look clearly there, you can see Dogpool's reflection in the floor. He's even reflecting in the ceiling as well. Again, I know how to use Photoshop, and while most of the stuff posted to Dogpool's Instagram is just him cropped out and in front of another photo or meme, this one immediately looked real to me. However, the more I looked at this photo as I was getting ready to break it down, you can clearly see that the X door in the background is extremely pixelated, a lot less definition than what we're seeing in the foreground. So in this case, while I do not think this is an official screenshot, I do not think that Dogpool is edited onto this floor. I think everything in the foreground is real, and it could be that this is simply taking place in front of a green screen or a blue screen in the background, and that's what's cropped in. Either way, that's why I prefaced after the prologue was saying there's sort of a blurred line with how they do promos here, and you have Dogpool in character on his official Instagram account, in the X-Mansion, edited shot or not, talking about the Danger Room, in the wake of all the cameos we're hearing for possible returning X-Men like Storm and Gambit, it just seems like they definitely know what they're doing here. So again, edited or not, it's definitely not an official still, but the front part of this might actually be from the set. It may be the background that's edited, and it's sort of hard to tell, but again, this is why Disney is absolutely genius for letting Ryan Reynolds do his promo this way, because it allows people like me to break this stuff down, and the people who really want to get into the minutiae, the super fans like you guys, in order to get more than just, say, the trailer that services the normal fan. Now, speaking of which, there was one more thing released yesterday, and by Ryan Reynolds, he went ahead and doubled down on the video from a couple of days ago we broke down, where he posted a silent video with a flag of the Avengers with an Anarchy A spray painted on top. That same logo has now been embroidered on a hat for him. He's wearing it here in the selfie he posted to Instagram yesterday as well. 
Now, I know they're going to come up with some silly, stupid name for this, the Anarchy Avengers, Anti-Avengers, the Anarchiers, but there's something going on with this symbol. It's a lot more important than just a silent video, and we do have a little light that's been shed on this by industry insider Alex Perez over at the Cosmic Circus, who showed that video on his Twitter and seemed to qualify it with the statement that this is what happens when Deadpool gets rejected from the Avengers, which has sort of been the stance he's been taking this whole time. If you remember the first time we saw Ryan Reynolds in character as Deadpool after Disney and Marvel had bought the Fox rights, he was sitting next to Korg concerned that he, everyone had their own Disney Plus TV show and he was never getting in the MCU. He even asked him for advice on how to do that. So there's a bit of a chip on Wade Wilson's shoulder about getting into the quote unquote Avengers. Sort of makes you wonder if during this film he doesn't make his way over to a timeline or part of the multiverse where an Avengers team does exist they reject him and that's what causes him to go ahead and found these anarchy avengers but you guys let me know all your thoughts down below how hyped you are for this and what do you make of this dog pool promo definitely put it under a microscope like i did like i said the foreground seems to be hd dog pool's reflection in the floor seems to be real again you can even see it in the ceiling but the x door in the background is pixelated like someone edited that in again maybe that's what got edited for a green screen or blue screen but i'm all ears Let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. Okay, we're still giving away PlayStation 5s at the channel, and we're just going to continue to do that until the PlayStation 5 Pro or the 6 comes out at this point. Who knows which will be first? Also, when we get a little closer to Deadpool and Wolverine's release, say about two weeks out, we'll start doing more regular ticket giveaways for the film as well. If you want to be entered to win for either of those or any of the other future giveaways here at the channel, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber, then leave a comment down below. Because it's truly random, the more videos that you comment on here at the channel, the better chance you have of winning. Please remember that only winners will be announced when there is one, with the comment shown on screen and live with my voice announcing that winner. So if you should get a comment on my YouTube channel, really any YouTube channel, any platform with someone claiming you've won a prize, please remember that anybody can take a content creator's photo, make a new profile, use that photo, claim you've won a prize, and it's all just a scam to get you to pay for shipping. No content creator will ever ask you to DM them on a third party app like Telegram or WhatsApp. No content creator, point blank, will ever ask you to pay for shipping. So if this should happen to you, although they've left us alone for the last year or two here at my channel, they've been attacking some of my friends' channels in this little corner of YouTube so if you should get a comment like this somewhere, please report it to YouTube. YouTube is very fast and thorough about deleting and suspending those accounts. And then not only have you deleted that comment for you and other people on that channel, but you've deleted that comment across all of YouTube, wherever they've spammed that you are doing such a community service and really helping everybody out beyond just the content creator who's getting spammed. So if you should get a comment, remember reported to YouTube, the best way to keep up with the content here at the channel has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you like today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name is Michael Roman. You can find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at I am fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music under the name All Fires. And while I would sincerely appreciate you guys checking my music out, thanks to those who already have. Thanks for your support here at the channel. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.